Hello, my name is Jim McElwee. Today is October 23rd, 2023. This is what I'm going to build. Um, I haven't heard of this idea before. Okay, so I've been spending time on virtual rotation, creating magnetic fields with electromagnets and trying to establish virtual rotation. And today I thought, why not just... Um, virtually rotate the induction coil instead of the magnetic field so I don't have to waste any energy to excite the field current so I don't have to excite the magnetic field okay I could use a permanent magnet if I could get the coil to virtually move okay so here's a preliminary idea which I'm going to build at mooker.com come over join me check it out I'm going to be posting updates and build information there okay so you wind one induction coil let's just say there's eight of these uh, leads coming out okay eight individual or you could wind eight individual coils and hook them up in series and tie each series together each individual coil that makes one large coil hooks up to a commutator plate with copper leads okay then you position one nice good strong magnet next to the front of the coil okay now on the top of the commutator plate you have two brushes that make contact somewhere in between this coil and these don't move the this rig moves but these always stay this spread apart so in this configuration you're making you're closing the circuit here and you're closing the circuit here so you have one two three four contacts your coil is this big okay because you're not using all this of the coil it's open you're closing only this part of the coil okay then your commutator works and this thing slides across and it makes contact before breaking the next contact and now when this thing your brushes are on the next one now your coil just moved up one okay now it keeps going so this is actually moving all the way to the right back to the left back to the right back to the left it makes one section of the coil constantly move so you have a moving induction coil without moving the induction coil so there's nothing to fight you the only power you're investing is the switches of the relays or the mechanical brush that you're going to use to control this. Now, once you have your mechanical brush set up or your relays, there is no load on that besides switching. Okay, so you could put a nether coil on the other side of the magnet. Then you could put a nether magnet and two more and a nether magnet and two more and use the same commutator or switching device to control as many of these as you want hundreds it is scalable and you get a moving as long as as long as all your phases match and the coils are identical and the magnets are identical so you could you know because all the energy is going to be coming back through the same wires okay now, it doesn't have to necessarily be like this. There are many configurations. It could do rotation. It could do reciprocation like this. Um, you could lap the coils and, and go over them one at a time so the magnetic field moves in a rotation around the magnet. You could do all sorts of things, and you could move the coil. I'm pretty sure it will work, and I am going to test this out to get virtual moving coil. So... You're not paying for any input for the magnetic field. You're not paying for any input to rotate it. You're not paying for any of that. All you're paying for is switching of a commutator or, or a relays of some sort to go through the contacts making before breaking in order to move the coil back and forth, create movement, virtual movement. So I'm going to be building it on mooker.com. Join me. Check it out. And... Hopefully we will succeed.